Coastal ecosystems such as mangroves, coral reefs, sand dunes and estuaries are rich in biodiversity. They support a wide range of wildlife, including birds, fish and sea turtles. They also provide many services to the millions of people living in coastal areas. They are major sources of fish, shells, fuel wood, medicines and agricultural products and have potential for tourism. However, these values can only be delivered when coastal nature, like mangroves and coral reefs, are in healthy condition. Uh, coastal wetlands in the last uh, many years have degraded a lot and uh, part of this degradation comes from uh, natural factors but another part is a result of human action uh, because people claim uh, claiming coastal wetlands for agriculture or for industrial development or for other purposes so that have um, resulted in um, the reduction, a drastic reduction of uh, coastal wetlands in the world. Coastal nature also acts as first line of defense against the impact of storms, high tides and the subsequent risk of flooding. This became particularly evident during the tsunami of December 2004 when mangrove forest and coral reefs acted as natural buffer zones and energy absorbers. They did not always stop the tsunami waves from coming in, but helped to reduce its impact and damage. Also, natural sand dunes were important buffer zones and protected the people and villages living behind it. Tsunami Climate change is a new challenge posed on especially tropical coasts. As a result of warmer seawater, cyclones and hurricanes will become more extreme. Another impact of climate change is the rise of sea level. Salt water will intrude and spoil coastal fresh water basins and agricultural land. Climate change will cause the further loss of coastal ecosystems and increase the vulnerability of the many millions of people in Asia, Africa and Latin America living in coastal areas. Mangrove ecosystems can actually help protect against those threats. Wetlands can help through protection against storms. It can help as well for um, limiting salt intrusion in fresh water and it can help also by limiting uh, erosion. Wetlands International and its partner organizations WWF, IUCN and both ENDS have been restoring mangroves and other coastal nature in the tsunami affected areas of Asia and on the coasts of West Africa. In this approach, called Green Coast, poor communities are participating and being rewarded when they restore and manage their areas well. Green Coast provides financial and technical support to communities for livelihood activities and in return, they plant mangroves or other coastal trees. In this way, coastal communities become more protected and prepared for the impacts of climate change. It also provides them with new livelihoods, fish stocks recover and fresh water basins are protected. In three years time, Green Coast partners were able to plant 1.2 million mangrove seedlings, re-establishing over a thousand hectares of coastal forest. In total, this provided 91,000 people in the tsunami hit areas with more security from restored coastal ecosystems. Green Coast has proven to be a successful approach to effectively rehabilitate coastal nature and to make coastal communities more resilient for the impacts of climate change. Wetlands International therefore calls for large-scale implementation of Green Coast and use of this approach in climate change adaption strategies.